So it's over for another year. There are all sorts of stories come out of the last few hours of deadline day in association with our friends at Renault Vans. The latest is the £12 million fee agreed between Chelsea and Liverpool for the Portugal midfielder Raul Morela. She's gone to Stamford Bridge on a four-year deal because Andre Villas-Boas had a £40 million bid for the Croatian midfielder Luka Modric turned down by Tottenham. Harry Redknapp confirmed as much this evening to Sky Sports News. We'll get back to Spurs in a second, but down the Seven Sisters Road, three big deals on this deadline day evening. Out has gone Nicholas Bentner from Arsenal on a season-long loan to Sunderland. And in to replace Cesc Fabregas and Samir Nasri are Chelsea's Yossi Benayoun and Everton's Mikel Arteta. Arsenal fans, your reaction to that one, please. Now, Craig Bellamy, he's completed a deadline day move to Liverpool on a two-year deal. Queen's Park Rangers have confirmed the arrival of Sean Wright Phillips at Loftus Road and they've revealed that he signed a three-year contract. We're still waiting for official confirmation, but we can tell you that Anton Ferdinand has signed from Sunderland. We can also tell you that Sebastian Bassong, he's moved to QPR from Spurs, broke down because Spurs couldn't get Gary Cahill in from Bolton. Scott Dan, he switched from Birmingham to Blackburn for £6 million rising to £8 million. He joins on a four-year deal. West Ham, they've signed the right-sided Ivory Coast star Guy Demel. He's 30 and he can play in defence and in midfield. And back to Spurs because Harry Redknapp successfully shot to pieces the outlandish rumour that Kaká had been signing uh, for Spurs on loan from Real Madrid. But he did confirm that David Bentley has joined West Ham. Alan Hutton, he snubbed a move to Fulham in favour of joining Aston Villa permanently. Jermaine Jenners, he's joined uh, Hutton at Villa Park on loan. And Peter Crouch, he's joined Stoke along with Wilson Palacios for a combined total of £18 million. Great business by Spurs. Also at Stoke is Cameron Jerome. They managed to get the paperwork into the Premier League for him before the 11 o'clock deadline. Now, Newcastle United, they've failed in their bid to sign a striker and that could put pressure back on Alan Pardew and Mike Ashley. They tried and failed to hijack Fulham's move for the FC20 at striker Brian Ruiz. That came to nothing, but Fulham have got him for £10.6 billion. Uh, Newcastle also went back in for the so-so striker Madibo Maiga, but that too came to nothing. And in their search for a defender, Newcastle failed to prize Leon Ridgewell away from Birmingham City. Mixed feelings surely at Everton, Argentina striker Dennis Aquilusi uh, joined Everton on a season-long loan. So too has the Real Madrid winger Royston Drenthe. But out has gone Arteta to Arsenal, Jermaine Beckford to Leicester and Yakubu to Blackburn. A tough season ahead for the Toffees. Back across Merseyside, Liverpool, they've completed a good deadline day by getting rid of the rest of their dead wood. Joe Cole has gone to Lille on loan. Christian Paulson, he's gone to the French club Evian. And David Ngo, he's joined Bolton. And Liverpool have tonight confirmed that they have cancelled the registration of Philip Degen by mutual consent. So Modric didn't go, neither did Steiner. Kaka didn't come, neither did Goetze. But now it's all over. It's been a long old summer, but thank you for watching Football Spy. You can go to the Mirror Football website for all of the background to what has been another fascinating transfer deadline day. And I'll see you next time.